real oldie today. 1997. The year I graduated high school. Yep. I graduated. 97 Toyota RAV4. Sitting for a long time. 2014. Old super crank. She's got no more cranks left in her. Well, the tires took air. Not much left of them. They're holding air. As you could see, the brakes were a bit locked up, but we took care of that. The mice had fun. Let's see this paper. Friday, October 4th, 2013. Three days after my birthday. good in it the vandals smashed the windshield broke the driver's window we got the bent key with it had to bend it back to make it work and uh, when they won't go into neutral you just pop off that little cap most floor shifters you pop that little plastic cover and there's a button in there and you Stab a screwdriver down in there and then you can get it in neutral. Sorry about the sniffling, but a little bit of a cold morning still. Although it is, uh, I think it's in the 20s. Warmed right up. Feels like spring, really, compared to what it's been. No spare. Got these cool plates with the loon. National treasure. Ooh. Looks like a rotor in there. Some jacks. Had to, uh, persuasion on this lock bend the rod back get it to open and uh yeah some snow inside he said this was uh his exact words Nice little buggy, is what he said. His mom's. I don't know. I can't even see anything there. But she had it for years. Bought it brand new. It was even wrecked once or twice. And they fixed it. It has the... Uh, under that cover manifold cat I think there's supposed to be one underneath but over the years the exhaust has been patched and welded together under there and at some point or the other they deleted the underneath one but I got a real deal on this one hundred dollar bill bought me this RAV4 and I even got the original title for it so, not a bad deal. Figured, uh, 
Might as well see if it starts. To my surprise, I show up with my new winch ready to uh, yank up a RAV4. And uh, guy had it sitting there, all sitting on a front end loader, right on the forks. And uh, he just picked it up, put it right on for me. Didn't even have to do anything. Just tighten it down and it was on my way. Wait a second. Use that ten millimeter I found. Oh. Like they knew I was going to do this. Left me the wrench and everything. Old juice. Crank's good.
He's running. That's how we broke the window.
You got more. Don't worry.
it was just locked. Sorry about your tail light. STP oil treatment. Oh, got a tape. Ten millimeter. Look at that. Nice one. Number one steel. Another cassette. Eighteen volt. The wall. trash well there you go will it start yeah technically it started I mean I would say that's a win but I would assume after so long the Fuel pump is probably froze up in there. Uh, who knows what's in the tank? Vandals may have poured something in or pissed in it. You never know. So, or maybe the gas is just so old that it just doesn't fire. But, will your 97 RAV4 start since 2014 ish? Yeah. She'd still run. Fortunately, it's all rotted out underneath. You can see it's all sitting, sitting wonky. Engine cradle, frame, everything. It's all rotten. Could you make it run and drive? I'm sure. I'm sure you could. Hey, look, more snow. Good old 2.0 Toyota engine. They, I gotta say, they put them in a lot. Those old Camrys, they'd still run. They never stopped running. But the rest of them rot out around. So they all got crushed. Didn't sound too bad when it was idling. At least we're level. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Another famous video. A um, couple days ago, I wasn't even aware that it was actually my anniversary on YouTube. 13 years someone commented and that video I put up on uh, the Buick Roadmaster I actually made that video on the day first day I ever uploaded a YouTube video and the title I'm pretty sure is uh, it's of my 1980 Ford Econoline van 
with the 300 straight six and uh It was right around the same time. It was in winter. It was very snowy. And uh, she was an old cranky 300 straight six with a two barrel carb and uh, fired it up. Put my first video on YouTube. Been having fun surviving every day since. So if you've been watching since then, I appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't, go back and it might be kind of cool to uh, watch that first video. And uh, leave a comment on there. Tell me what you think. And uh, you never know. One of these days, I might see you on the streets.